All right, so this is tasting update number 10. We are here in Bone on Monday evening after a couple uh, couple tastings this morning, and we're about to receive our second group of visitors. Uh, you remember the last update, we were looking at those butt the pie, they were anticipating frost on Sunday morning, and indeed they had it, uh, they had it up and down the coat door, and so we had fires and, and hay bales going everywhere. Interestingly, this apparently, we're learning a lot about frost. This was frost noir instead of frost blanche. Black frost. Gelée noir instead of gelée blanche. And it's easier on the plants. Blanche involves a lot of humidity and therefore is more dangerous than gelée noir, which doesn't. On Saturday morning, we got up and we drove the hour and a half up to Chablis to taste with Domaine Gauterreau and the Domaine Collet. Both were really wonderful tastings. Their 2017s and 2018s are really going to be just remarkable wines. We stopped in some vineyards on our way back just to see just how stony they are up in Chablis. It's really amazing to see. And then came back home to do more samples. On Sunday morning, we got up to see the, the vineyard fighting the frost once again. They used candles amid the rows to, to warm up the vines and smoke to shield the sun from the, from the frosted buds. The winemakers told us that the first frost actually was much more damaging than the second, and this one seems to have been averted, but that there really is some, some real damage, particularly in the Cote de Bone, from the first frost last week. This morning we got up to taste with the Domaine Jean Noël Gagnard and Chassagne Morachet, tasted their 2017s, which were really lovely, and then up to Ossie Duress to taste with the Domaine Prunier, where we tasted 2017s from white and red. So we'll be about to head out to dinner pretty soon. Uh, we're going to two restaurants, two of our favorite smaller restaurants. We split up the group in order to, to be able to accom be accommodated there. One is La Buissonnière in Bonne, and the other is Le Petit Paradis in Bonne. Both very small, very warm, welcoming, delicious uh, restaurants. Yeah, if you're in town, we, we highly recommend both of them. They're also both open on a Monday, which is unusual around here. <laughs> uh, and then tomorrow we're starting the same program of tasting as last week with a new group of people. And uh, so we'll be in Chassagne Morache in the morning and then Givry in the Cote Chalonnais uh, in the afternoon. And we'll give you an update from there. That's it for tasting update number 10. And we'll see you back here tomorrow.